Alright, mapagpalang hapon po sa ating mga tagapakinig. Welcome po sa ating programang Sulong na Bayan. At syempre, tuwing araw ng lunes, start of the week, ang gusto po natin laging ipaalala sa ating mga tagapakinig ay ano, uunahin natin ang salita ng Panginoon so that the whole week would be a blessed one, would be a highly favored one, at mag-uumpisa tayo ng matatawag natin na start to the right footing dahil naka-align po tayo sa ating Panginoon. At napakasarap na ngayong maga tayo, ay actually happen na mapagpala tayo dahil uh, we will be joined by a youth. Uh, matatawag natin na sahanin siya ng youth sector. no? Kasi uh, he is what? Only 26 years old. Nako, sorry ha. <laughs> Nasamit ko yung edad mo. Her age. And a political science graduate of UST, University of Santo Tomas. Uh, again, and he is self-employed as a market trader. At siya ay uh, uh, pinagpipitagan kong halos, uh, what? A very good son of my sis in Christ. Si Sten Verdan and Dr. Rene Verdan. So let's welcome to our program, One Verse a Day Keeps All. All. Ulitin ko po sa inyo, sa mga nakikinig po sa iba't ibang panig ng mundo. Hello, hello dyan po sa gitnang sinangan, sa Middle East, siyempre sa ASEAN countries, Japan, Australia, uh, dyan sa Hong Kong, Myanmar, malakas malakas din po tayo dyan sa Vietnam, at ngayon na rin po sa Dubai. Hello, hello po dyan. No? Makinig, don't uh, be hit and tuned in right now kasi napakalim na po na iba bahagi niyang verse passage in the Bible, a verse that will what? keep all napakarami po ng mga worries na ating na uh, nagdarama ngayon because of pandemia iba't ibang problema but these were all what based on fear so siguro itong ating uh, resource person ng ating panauhin will tell us kung ano ang makakapaggamot or mariresol ba na lahat ng in worries fears anxieties ano pa man yan will all go away. Okay. <laughs> uh, let's welcome to our program, no less than Dave Verdan. Kamusta, Dave? Hello po. Okay lang po ko. Kamusta po kayo? Can complain. Medyo hilo-hilo lang dahil hindi ko alam oras dito. <laughs> okay. Let's go right directly to the verse at yan ang uh, ating yan talagang gustong iuna at the, uh, the first day of the week, Monday. So that yung mga Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday na yung naging gawain, mga plano, mga decision will be uh, will be guided ikan, ano, if we start the verse for today on a Monday, start of the week. What is your passage in the Bible that you want to share? So, ang gusto ko basahin is from Isaiah 40, 12 to 14. Okay. What is it all about? Can you just say and so, explain? So, ang ano po, bale, napili ko to kasi it's very close to my heart. And mm-hmm. it just talks about how powerful God is. Kung gaano kalakas ang Panginoon na sinasabi kasi bale nung, ano, nung, nung propeta na, nag, na nagsulat nito na Isaiah. Yeah. Sino ba yung yung makakaalam kung kung yung ano yung totality ni Lord? Sino yung makakapagturo sa kanya kung ano yung yung dapat gawin or sino yung makakadagdag sa kung ano yung alam niya na? And you know these these two verses they they just emphasize over and over again na you can't add anything more to our God. Eh. He's the one who's going to add to you. He's the one who's going to complete things for the rest of us. So, ayun, ayun po. In other words, yung power niya, no one can match. Uh, mm. Siguro beyond, beyond compare. No? Kasi nga, ito, dumadaan tayo sa tinitawag nating pandemia. It's not just there in the Philippines. Eh. Even here ngayon sa Los Angeles, pag-touchdown ko dun sa kanilang paliparan sa LAX, eh, ramdam natin yung balisa ang kalooban ng karamihan. May mga naka-facial mask pa rin, facial shield, and then tanong ng tanong, hanggang kailan ba ito? Yung marinig mo sa mga comments ng mga traveling passenger. Naiinis na ako, hindi tayo makarecover itong ating gagawin, yung plano ko. So lahat balisa, restless, and now you're saying from that verse, ulitin lang natin, Isaiah 40 verse 12, 14, right? Okay, kasi those who are tuning in, kayo po nakikinig, Napaka-powerful po ng nabanggit ng verse ang passage ni Dave. Ito po ay inyong uh, uh, memorize dahil at the end of the program, meron po kayong makukuhang ano, 
ang aming the usual Bible New NIV uh, Tagalog in English para sa first five colors. So okay, moving on, yung Isaiah 40 verse 12. I, si Isaiah, the prophet Isaiah was saying, no one can compare with our, our God. He's the all-powerful, the all-knowing, the all-loving, the all-merciful. Eh, saan ka pa? Diba, Dave? Alam niya, even before you ask. Kasi may nakikinig sa atin ngayon, in fact, kakatext lang niya. Talaga daw niya na alam gagawin niya. At uh, mm. parang walang, walang, kasi bata mo siya. I will not mm. name her babae, but uh, she's tuning in right now. At katag-text lang niya. At sinasabi niya, Tita, mm-hmm. wala akong direksyon, hindi ko na alam gagawin ko. Parang, uh, mm-hmm. ito na, parang insecure or feeling niya miserable siya, hindi siya makatulong daw sa kanyang parents, hindi niya alam mm-hmm. kung uh, ano pa ba, may use pa ba siya. Eh, sabi ko, read the word at ikaw ay mag-tune in dahil powerful yung verse na ibabahagi sa atin ng ating uh, kasama ang ating uh, brother in Christ. So, ayan, kakasabi mo lang, he is all-powerful. Bakit kaya? Bakit siya lang ang all-powerful? Can you expand? I think, well, for me, when I think about God's power, it's not just yung yung ability niya para baguhin yung buhay mo. Eh. I think it's the consistency that he has been in my life. Parang, Okay, so whatever I do, kung ano man yung maging good work score, kung ano man yung maging kasalanan ko, napaka-consistent pa rin ng word and message niya sa akin in my life. It's still the same promises, it's still you know, the same blessings that he, he wants to pass over. And yeah, he can move mountains, yes, he can change your, let's say, yung heart mo, he can turn it from stone to flesh. But yung... The, the main power for me is his consistency to love you despite everything that you did. Na, why? Why is he the only one na, na who has all this power? Why is he the only one who has parang, all this authority over the world? Mm-hmm. I, I, I truly believe that it's parang anchored on his consistency. Eh. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. In other words, hindi siya nagbabago. Atuloy-tuloy. Mm. It's the same yesterday, today, and forever. So, I mean, I pray forever pala. Yes, there mm. is. It is only through our Lord Jesus. Kasi tayo, ikaw at ako, I can tell you, ay babe, puntahan kita sa ano mga, or magkita tayo, magkape. Tapos mamaya tatawag ako sa'yo. Ay, sorry, babe, something came up. Hindi pala akong paparating. So, it, uh, walang ano eh, walang consistency sa mga or nag-change. Sa mga talagang bound to, ano, to, it's not perfect. So important ang ang sinasabi mo ngayon, God is consistent. Ang sarap marinig at assurance ko rin 'yan as a person ako ngayon as a broadcaster or anything that I do. I want to hear something na powerful at saka solid at saka pa, hindi mag-iiba. Ang hirap makita 'yan sa ating kapwa kasi nga tayo ay human being. May frailties tayo, may kahinaan, may shortcomings. So hindi hindi ka pwedeng umasa ay, nako ha, usapan namin ni Dave kanina, tapos iba naman niya yung oras, ano ba yan, naruwin tuloy yung iba kong gagawin. So, uh, in other words, ang pangyay hindi eh, it's the same yesterday, today, and forever. Nako, panalo. So, you were saying more powerful, hindi lang siya sa, uh, uh, sa siguro sa physical attributes, at mga yung sasabihin, I, I am in control, kahit may pandemya, I will you know, still heal you in, in my perfect time, kung ano yung dapat ko ngayon. Pero yung masabi mo yung consistent, that's a, an, a, ano sa akin yun eh, a tall word. So, can you explain mm-hmm. more? Go ahead. So, ganda rin kasi, parang, when you mentioned about, yun nga, yung, uh, let's say, we've had coffee, tapos I changed my plans. Usually kasi, itong mga things that change your plans, they... Mm-hmm push you eh, quote-unquote. Parang these are external powers that change your decision. They break your promises. They they make you do things that you never said you would do. <laughs> and with God being consistent and with God being able to promise, you know, the same things since Adam up to Revelations. Diba? Parang walang, walang nakapagbago ng isip niya. Walang, walang nakapagbago ng Nung, nung eternal life that, that he, he promised you should you just accept his son and 
everything that he stated in the Bible, it has not changed. Mm-hmm. No one has ever, you know, parang changed his plans or ever made him inconsistent. And I think parang, from that thought pa lang, nakikita mo na eh na, oo oh, nga naman, parang if nothing else can change his plans, uh, ano pang, mm-hmm. gano'n pa kalak, how small are my problems compared to mm-hmm. him? How small are the things I'm going through or yung mga things that would push me? Okay. W- would they be able to even move him ba? Parang hindi. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Oh. Parang, parang sa kanya eh, uh, God is bigger than our, all our problems. Parang itong mga dinadanas nga nito eh, compared sa ano eh, imagine he's a sovereign God. So, ikaw, Iniiyak-iyak mo halimbawa, ay, hindi ako po masa sa ganun, laki ng problema ko, paano yun, kukuha pa ulit ako ng exam. Lord, matulungan mo ako. Ang liit na problema lang yan. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Kasi hindi siya yung, well, ayaw naman natin palakihin. Ano? But again, uh, whatever problems you're and zero undergoing right now or whatever situation you are in right now, kung may mga financial troubles na kakala. Kasi yung iba alam mo, Dave, dito lalo na sa Amerika, pag may konti ka lang problema at yung mga ma-resolve ma- they they ano they uh, end their lives. Nagsusuicide agad. Mm-hmm. Parang, at kasi alam nila parang wala nang next step oh. na gagawin, hopeless na. Eh, yan, mm-hmm. sinasabi mo eh. He doesn't change. He's the same as today mm-hmm. today and forever. And consistent siya. At maliit lang yung problema niya. If idudulog natin sa kanya. So, ang next question, Dave, how do you, how do you, ikaw siguro personal, how do you apply that in your life? Kasi, siyempre, may time na minsan nakaka-give up ka na dahil ano ba itong mga sitwasyon na ito? Sa so, market, lalo na ang trading, hindi, hindi yan volatile yan eh. Mamaya up and down, mamaya uh, napaka, napaka-volatile na galaw ng galaw, walang consistency, and that's uh, parang opposite of what you're saying. So, in your, practical daily living, how do you apply it? Yung power ni God. Well, siguro sa, when it comes to yung my personal life na and yung actualizing the really like understanding how consistent God is, mm-hmm. I, I have to admit na talagang there are many days that I would forget. There are many days mm-hmm. na uh, nakakatamad alalahanin, diba? nakaka- it's it's more trouble than than it's worth i i would say on some days but okay. when when these things happen i grace mm-hmm. grace comes in and it pulls me back it pulls me back to mm-hmm. remembering what was what i was taught when i was a child and mm-hmm. hindi talaga ako like wala akong wala akong masabi except for i pinagdadasal ko ang grasya. Pinagdadasal ko ang grasya na bumalik and and itala ko sa tamang lugar palagi. Kada kada oras na maiba yung isip ko o kada yung na, na, tamaan ako ng katamaran or tamaan ako ng hindi magagandang uh, thoughts, I I really pray na, Lord, please don't let me go. Huwag mo kong, huwag mo kong pabayaan na, na masira yung isip ko o ganun. Kasi wala eh. It's all we have. This mm-hmm. His word, His message for us. Without it, I, I, I truly believe that it's meaningless. And yung, you can have all the money in the world or you can have all the steps and proper plans. Yung mga nakagawa ka na ng solid na plano that would um, encase you in safety, quote-unquote. Mm-hmm. But mm-hmm. at the end of the day, without Christ, nothing, talaga. It's mm-hmm. pointless. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. So, mm-hmm. ayun po, bale, Prayer. Start with prayer. Okay. Start with prayer okay. na, you know, yung, yung you walk with, it doesn't have to be, ano eh, like a, a long stride, doesn't have to be running, but mm-hmm. you walk. When you remember, you walk. Mm-hmm. The times you will forget, believe me, the spirit and grace will come and you will remember. And then, when you do, you walk again. Just pray again. It doesn't have to be very long, doesn't have to be very intense. Mm-hmm. Kasi, from, Kinuha ko pa lang doon sa Isaiah 40, 12 to 14. It should okay. emphasize to you na it will never be about you. Eh. It will never be about your effort. It will never be about yung... Your deeds. Yung mga magandang. Mm, kung ano yung kaya mong gawin. Kasi yeah. siya yung gagawa. I mean, he'll be, ano eh, he'll be, he'll be the one to make sure that you get to the finish line. 
Mm-hmm. Oh, ang gandang promise yan. You will not have to make an effort. It will be Him who will uh, direct your steps or uh, straighten your path. Kasi eh, liko-liko ang mga daan eh. Pag ikaw on your own, talagang somehow nagpa-falter. Ilang beses mo nangyari sa akin yan. Ako, actually, masyado na redundant para sa akin. Pag sinabi ko, ah, ito, nagawin ko to on my own terms, on my own uh, system, on my own method. It faltered. Tsaka, ultimately, it fails. Unlike yung sinasabi mo, it's by God's grace. You have to depend on Him, rely on God. Trust Him with all our heart. At talagang siya lang, hindi yung sarili natin pamamaraan. So that's what you do. You pray, and then what's next? When you pray. Really lead ka na well, Share us. Mm, mm-hmm. So after I pray, and then mm-hmm. there will be days na the conversations will be difficult with Him. Like, He would like want how? you to to specifically do something and change your life. And these commands, they, although they are life-altering, they're also, mm-hmm. it takes commitment to the na to yung repenting from your ways, repenting from yung you know, turning bale from the things that would harm you. It's not a one-day process. You, yes. you try to do it today, and then tomorrow, ulit. Again, <laughs> Ulit-ulit hanggang sa ibipas na yung maraming taon. Mm-hmm. It's, a, it's a long process, but process. one encouragement I can give probably to the people who are going through it or who have not yet gone through it but would want to is okay. it's like a it's like a workout. Parang kitsa sa simula. Talagang masakit okay, kasi hindi ka sanay eh. Mm-hmm. Right. Pero after a while, when you notice yourself getting stronger, getting healthier, yung mm-hmm. nakukorekta mo na yung mga, mm-hmm. yung mga dapat mong gawin, it becomes mm-hmm. a lot more natural. Hanggang sa marirealize mo na lang na, mm-hmm. ay, pala. ito pala talaga yung nature ko. Ako pala talaga mm-hmm. ay, hindi pala talaga ako mahilig magsinungaling, hindi pala mm-hmm. talaga ako mahilig say, kuminom. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Yung sigarilyo, <laughs> mag- mm-hmm. yung vices niya, hindi ko naman pala gusto yan. Ito pala talaga. Mm-hmm. Oh. So, you're saying, very fa- uh, ano kasi, that, that struck me what you said kanina, by His grace, which is, ano yan, undeserved favor, hindi nga natin deserve yan. Yes. Pero mm-hmm. binibigay niya ng paulit-ulit His mercies endures forever. His grace is sufficient, is more than enough. Kailangan, mm-hmm. katulad mo, kasi yung mundain hiking na katulad mo, kasi yung edad mo, yung kanina minention ko, eh, consistent ka at saka nagpa-pray ka, ayun na nga, you just have to let go and trust God na siya yun. Hindi ka na kailangan gumawa ng mga donation, ano ba, nagpa-feeding-feeding ka, kasi uso ngayon, dahil dahil mm-hmm. gutom. O kaya punta ka, mag-outreach ka ng mga medicine, ay, good deeds yun. Akala mo ngayon, oops, dahil kung hindi naman maganda yun, hindi pala yun. It has to mm-hmm. be an effort na sinasabi mm-hmm. mo that you turn from, ito, importante ito, you turn, twist, turn from your mm-hmm. wicked ways. Kasi araw-araw nga, mm-hmm. nagsisinungaling tayo, o ka nakakasalita ng curses na unwittingly, hindi mo natin gusto sabihin, pero, ay, putya, mga ganun. <laughs> Yung pala, mm-hmm. word, word na hindi na putya ang sinasabi mo. So, you will turn, ganun ba, Dave, you will turn from your wicked ways and rape very quickly before I allow you to say our closing prayer ano yung repent kasi mabigat naman yan babe mabigat naman mm. explain in layman so terms. yung repentance kasi it's different from just I'm sorry na okay. kasi kung nag-apologize ka lang parang ay sorry na sagi kita or say sorry na na inom ko yung kape mo ganun pero yung repentance it's a it's a conscious decision conscious decision to 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 say na hindi hindi na yan hindi na gusto ko yeah hindi na hindi na yan yung 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 hindi na ako yan hindi ako naniniwala na ako yan hindi ako naniniwala na na gusto kong gawin yan ng paulit-ulit kaya eto sasabihin ko na na I repent from X pwedeng can be any reason can be you know as small as probably waking up late or not going to work. Yan. Mm-hmm. It can also be very heavy. Like, I I repent from from alcohol. 
excessive yes. alcohol. I repent from addiction. I repent perhaps. from addiction. Mm-hmm. I, I repent from adultery. I repent mm-hmm. from pornography. But it, it, but all the same. Right. All the Still, same. They are wicked things that you've been doing in the past. Alam mo namang heavy yung heart mo. Hindi na pala para sa iyo yan. So, ayan. Mm-hmm. At in a nutshell talagang, ang life ni Dave po, malino na sinasabi niya. Noon niya si Lord, he prays. And then, mabigat yung turning from his uh, mga past wrongdoings. Hindi niya na ginagawa. So, that's the way to apply it. Kasi kailangan maintindihan ng ating mga takapakinig. Oo nga, sinabi mo, powerful si God, uh, all-knowing, all-loving. Pa, paano ko malalaman? Paano ko apply? But now, they is saying, just two things. Pray. When you speak to God, you pray. That's how you talk to Him. <laughs> diba? When you when you want God naman to speak to you, abay, mag-effort ka mag-search sa scriptures. Ito pong ginagawa namin yan, one verse a day. And then, sinasabi mo na, uh, after praying, you turn. Y- yung mga up- upside down, talagang magbabago. Ah, may conscious effort na sinabi si Dave. Napakaganda ng kanyang sinabi. They have to have commitment. Parang kulang tayo sa ganun. So, napakaganda, napakaisi naman ang ating oras. But this will not be the last, Dave. We, we learned a lot from you. Ito, nagpa-thank you siya. Thank you daw, Sir Dave. At uh, he was, she was relieved. And uh, praise the Lord dahil uh, kailangan maging consistent daw siya. So, uh, somehow, tinamaan. Somehow, nalaman niya na yun yung shortcomings niya na hindi siya consistent. But you said it just now. So, ang laki na natulong sa kanya. So, thank you, thank you, and glory to the God now. So, thank you for tuning in. Lead us in a closing prayer. Siguro, kung pwede mo rin mapatanggap yung iba natin, mga listeners, uh, it's your call. So, go ahead, Dave. Uh, Panginoon, uh, salamat ho sa araw na to. Salamat na binigyan niyo kami ng pagkakataon para maalala ka. Binigyan niyo kami ng pagkakataon para makilala ka pa ngayong araw na to. Uh, Isang verse lang ho to, sa long love letter na binigyan niya sa amin pero every chapter counts, every sentence counts and we we enjoy knowing more about you. We enjoy knowing your consistency. We enjoy knowing your good promises. We enjoy your strength. We enjoy your protection, Father. And we enjoy your relationship. Panginoon ko, gabayan niyo kami gamit ang spirito sa mga tao dito ngayon at sa mga taong gustong makinig at, at sa mga nakikinig na hawakan nyo ang buhay nila. Hawakan nyo at paalalahanin nyo na, na kayo pa rin ang nasa control ngayon. Kayo pa rin ang mas malakas kaysa sa problema nila. At kayo pa rin yung nagmamahal sa kanila ng, ng tunay na tunay. Magmula nung pinanganak sila hanggang sa araw na ito na nabubuhay sila, hindi nawala ang pangalan ng mga tao na nakikinig at mga tao na nandito sa isip nyo. You know us, Lord, by name, Father. And we just commit to you all our problems. We commit to you yung confusion. We commit to you our our unwillingness, our 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 sin. We commit to you our bad practices, Father God, na we can't do it. Hindi namin kayang matalo kung ano man yung, yung mga problema namin ngayon. Hindi namin kaya matalo yung mga kumakalaban sa amin, yung mga gustong manakit sa amin, Father. But you are consistent. You are consistently strong and we give you all the glory and we give you all our problems. All this we ask in Jesus' name. Amen. Jesus. Ang sarap. Thank you so much, Dave. And this is not the last. We will call on you every so often. Because uh, ito na, uh, I think meron tayong purpose to do this. We have to make known to the ends of the earth, so to speak, ang mm-hmm. kanyang salita. So God bless Dave and say hi to your mom. I miss her. Thank you, All right. Salamat po, tita. All right. God bless. Ayan po ang ating naging uh, kuntahan ni Dave. Ang one verse a day keeps all our worries away. At yun ang lagi natin kailangang ano, uh, alalahanin. We have to keep reminding ourselves that God is in control. He is sovereign God. And ano, uh, He's all powerful. He's all knowing. He's all merciful. So we will take a break in a while. But thank you. Can you hear me, um, Engineer um, Jerry? Uh, no, no, medyo may delay ng konti yung ating airing, you know. But uh, I just want to say thank you again to the Vice President of Philippine Airlines, Ms. Cielo Villaluna, for corporate communications at ngayon ang Presidente ng Pangulo ng Philippine Airlines, si Sir Gilbert uh, Santa Maria. 
for uh, helping me out and uh, upgrading me. <laughs> thank you, thank you so much. I can't thank you enough. At paulit ulit ko tong sasabihin because all the way from ano, check encounter hanggang uh, escorting me to the Mabuhay Lounge, sa business class Mabuhay Lounge, and I was able to eat anything I can eat. <laughs> Sarap. And then, pagpanik sa aeroplano, aba, wow, I was seated in 1K, the first seat assignment. And, ang sarap because I can lie down. Pero nakuhigaan. Uh, never ko na-feel yun sa iba kong flights. <laughs> so, syempre, kasama na ba ng mga perks, lahat ng juice, wine, everything kasama. So, thank you, thank you so much. At hindi pa nagtapos doon. The purser, the flight crew, si Ms. Gonzaga was so kind enough to really, really look after me. The whole 12-hour flight from Manila to Los Angeles, LAX Airport. At pagdating sa LAX, eto pa, nagulat ako. Bakit? Daming bagahe. Punong-puno ang tirapahan natin ng mga bagahe kasi three, ano, 300 plus seating capacity yung aeroplano. So puno and uh, very, ang sarap ng feeling dahil nakarecover na ang Philippine Airlines ang daming passengers. Pagdating doon, hanap ako, hanap hindi ko makita yung palatang nawagan ako. Miss Peggy, Miss Lolita Acosta. Hala, natakot ako. Patakot din na tawag. Yung pala, sinep, sinegregate. Sineparate nila yung sarili kong magigest para hindi na ako maghanapan hindi na ako mahirapan maghanap. Alam nila, alam nila sino sila sila ako hirap magbuhat ng mga bagay. But thank you, thank you for all this awesome treatment VIP. At uh, I hope to repay it someday soon. So thank you, mabuhay Philippine Airlines at syempre the heart of Filipino people. We have to take a short break and Philippine Standard Time 3.30 in the afternoon. Si Ms. Loli Acosta, Sulo na Bayan sa DWIZ 882. Alright, magbabalik po muli ang ating programang Sulong na Bayan at tayo po ay uh, na biyayaan, maimbita dito sa sinagawang Philippine American History Celebration North Hollywood dito sa Los Angeles, California. At nung tayo uh, nakapunta at nakita natin ang event nitong napakalaking uh, celebration. They celebrate this every year, every October 16, sa iba't ibang counties. Hindi lang po dito sa Los Angeles, na dun sa West Covina, sa Orange County, para lang ma, uh, maparamdam sa ating mga counterpart, mga American. Ito yung grupo ng Philippine American Uh, Siyempre, kung gano'n na kahalaga sila sa atin. At tayo uh, pinalad, makapanayam ang fashion event, fashion director. Actually, no? yung, yung, yung buong uh, uh, event at uh, isa pang napakalaking uh, tao, ang ating uh, his uh, last one. Isa po ang ating Philippine Consulate General dito sa Los Angeles, no less than uh, Sir Edgar B. Badajos. So siguro malaman natin play mo na Tina kung ano ang kanyang ibinahagi ng message of hope at maintindihan natin ano nga po itong sinagawang uh, celebration ng Philippine American history. Go ahead. Okay, we're right here at the Scientology uh, in North Hollywood where we will be doing interview with no less than Philippine Consul General Uh, Ed, Eduardo Badajos. He's a newly appointed consul gen here. So I'm so blessed that I'll be talking to him. And we want to know what's going to happen tonight for the film, film, film American History, history yeah. Celebration. It's being celebrated every year. Mm. And there are a lot of Filipino communities really doing this. As a matter of fact, as we speak, there's one in West Covina. So, mm. but uh, I take priority because I want to meet the consul gen no less. So let's ask him what's going on and what's this all about Ali. Ali, yeah. Maraming salamat, uh, Loli, for, uh, you know, uh, giving me a chance to uh, explain what this project is all about. Uh, this is a joint project of the Philippine Consulate in LA and the uh, Philippine American Association in Los Angeles. It's our uh, commemoration of the Filipino American History Month. And uh, it, it has two parts. One is the retracing the migration of Filipinos to the U.S. And the second part is the ANI, the cultural show. And for the cultural show, we invited uh, 
three designers from the Philippines, and the director also came from the Philippines, and they will showcase our traditional Filipino costume with a twist, meaning that uh, they will um, mix it with the traditional Filipino textiles and make this actually wearable, uh, our dresses. So it's like the barong you only wear it during holidays or national days for example but what we're just trying to do is to make it wearable every day or for office yeah for office wear, like, yeah office wear. Wear, like you're wearing a barong that's right yeah. see or fina yeah you're saying that the texture is oh. coming from the philippines yeah yeah they, they, like you can yeah, right, you're right, surprised yeah. everybody yeah <laughs> right and so uh well, the, the, the overall uh, objective mm -hmm. is to promote uh, understanding and awareness of Filipino culture. And that will mean creation of yeah. jobs. Correct, yeah, yeah. New, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Now we're starting to recover. It's right. an awesome yeah. thought of all this. Right. Uh, it was uh, my idea mm -hmm. to partner with the Filipino-American community in FACLA. Mm -hmm. uh, I'm the Trinity for the uh, Because, of course, FACLA is the oldest uh, Filipino it's organization or relation in LA. Mm -hmm. And I thought of also helping them. Um, and uh, I relate this activity with the incidence of hate crimes in the U.S. Yes, because, you know, this is happening because of lack of awareness about our culture, our, who we are as people. Uh, I think American mainstream has to understand the Filipinos have been in America 15th century, right? And we're the biggest contributor. Yeah. Three million strong. Yeah. Specifically in LA, right. San Francisco, yeah. San Diego. We have, yeah. Exactly. We have a lot of contributions economically, cultural diversity in this country. Mm -hmm. So instead of, uh, you know, uh, hating us, they should actually love us, appreciate us, mm -hmm. thank us mm -hmm. for all our contributions. During the pandemic, there are a lot of Filipinos in the front line, yes, right? yes. and many actually pay the ultimate price, right? So that's uh, that's uh, why we are doing this project. Okay. In another interview in your office sometime soon, we will ask about the pandemic uh, and yeah, how sure. you guys are doing it. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I know it is going down, but for now, let's celebrate the Philippine American history yeah. celebration, and we thank you for your time. Thank and you, Lolly. Okay. And we'll see you next week. Sure. Give us a call. Uh, just yeah. hang on. Yeah, yeah. I will. Uh, I will. Uh, I, will uh, I will ask my secretary to actually get in touch. Hi. Good afternoon. This is Lolly Acosta in LA live. We will be reporting what's happening right now. They are celebrating Filipino American history celebration in Los Angeles, specifically in Scientology on North Hollywood. And we're here with us to tell you the good news and what it's all about is the director, fashion director of the event. This is a fashion extravaganza. You wouldn't really miss this, but go, let's check him out. Director Con Concinel. Hi, how are you? Good, e uh, good morning, good evening, wherever you are in the world, Ate Loli, maraming salamat po sa pagbisita. Ayan. Uh, nandito po kami sa Los Angeles to celebrate um, Philippine American History Month. Uh, it's celebrated every October. And uh, the, the Philippine Consulate in LA is celebrating this very important milestone along with the uh, Philippine uh, American uh, FACLA, FACLA, Filipino American Community of LA a fashion extravaganza we are calling Annie. Annie, uh, Annie or like Harvest. Of harvest? It's, it's a title I came up with for this fashion. It's, it's a fashion cultural show because for Annie, Annie Harvest or Harvest is a uh, is uh, what's hap what is going to happen now uh, now that the world is opening up and the opportunities are uh, are are increasing the world over including ourselves we have had drought the longest time and now this is time for harvest that's why this um, fashion show is called um, Annie and we are we flew from Manila po we flew from Manila, the way from the from Manila uh, despite against all odds uh, in our the political situation there and I flew with three of our most maverick designers in the Philippines in the names of uh, Jay Lyson, Laura Santos, and Edwin Uy. They're all members of the of the Philippines' biggest fashion fashion designers guild called uh, Designers of the Philippines. And really, our advocacy is to globalize and the harvest. harvest. It's, it's right. a title I came up with for this fashion. It's, it's a fashion cultural show because for any any harvest or harvest is a uh, is uh, what's hap what is going to happen now uh, now that the world is opening up and the opportunities are uh, are are increasing the world over and we are
ourselves. We have had drought the longest time, and now this is time for harvest. That's why this um, fashion show is called um, Ani. And we are, we flew from Manila po. We flew from the Philippines. Uh, despite against all odds uh, in our political situation there, and I flew with three of no our problem. most maverick designers in the Philippines in the names of uh, Jay Lyson, Laura Santos, and Edwin Uy. They're all members of the of the Philippines' biggest fashion fashion designers guild called uh, Designers of the Philippines. And really, our advocacy is to globalize Philippine textiles because. All right. Napakalinaw po doon sa tinuran ng ating fashion director na si Sir Concon, director Concon Sinel. This is to showcase, you know, nyo, yung ating textile, ang ating mga siguro made of husi, ating fabric, may pinya. Ito pala ay uh, marami pa, hindi lang pala pinya o husi ang meron sa ating bansa na kung saan eh, pwede pa rin magawang ano, damit o uh, tela o maging sikat sa iba't ibang panig na mundo at ma-discover ng siguro sa anong fashion capital of the world ng France, Paris o siguro sa lahat ng karating ba o, o karating bayan mga sa London makita nila na ito palang ating mga gawa dito sa ating bansa ay uh, napakahusay at napakaganda na pwedeng maging clothing material so Uh, is niya no case nila dito sa kanyang ginanap na fashion event na ito ay uh, uh, parang open na sa lahat ng gusto o interesado magkaroon ng ganitong classy material. So again, slowly tayo ay uh, nakikilala not just sa uh, mga masabi singers, mga musicians o kaya actors, actresses. Ito naman, clothing clothing material. Na alam naman natin na minsan nanineglect o na na uu na to take for granted ay ano mong klasing ano yan texture. Yung pala magulat ka pwede siyang i-weave pwede siyang i-hulma at gawing ano later on textile garment. So I really thank uh, the brilliant idea then ni Consul Jen Ed Badajos for mounting this at maintindihan ng ating uh, pater na rin ng mga nagsi uh, nakibahagi dito sa event na ito, maintindihan nila ang kultura na meron tayo nakakaiba dyan sa ating bansa. So, congratulations, uh, Consul Jen Ed Badajos. Ganyan na rin si, si Mr. Con Con Sinel na talaga namang he put a lot of effort bringing in three designers from the Philippines, good and top designers, para mainihanda ito. And thank you, Jerome. Ano? Nakita ko nga na uh, pagod ang uh, effort na ginawa ni Jerome the entire awesome uh, event itong uh, na isinaganap ka ng Saturday. So good luck and I hope and I pray na meron pa tayong iba pang venues, not just Los Angeles, perhaps baka sa ibang bansa. London, Paris, at mga ipakita natin, mga i-showcase talaga na ang gagaling ng ating ano, kababayan. So, ang economic recovery na sabi ni Conjan kanina, uh, makaka-recover na tayo because we will create jobs, we will create ano, revenues. Eh, talaga naman lahat tayo ay naapektuhan. No? At uh, somehow, ito na yung masasabi natin kakaiba Siguro ito na yung pwedeng pagtuunan ng pansin. Kasi again, talaga naman kailangan natin mong bihis. Kailangan natin mong damit to cover our skin. So ito yung pwedeng uh, uh, strategy ng another job creation. Uh, katulad ng ating uh, mga nangyayang kasama dyan sa delivery ng mga pagkain. So ngayon sila ang talagang matatawag natin. Busy, busy, busy. Taga-deliver. Oh, five years ago or one year ago, hindi sila ganun ka-busy mga riders natin, nako, oh, di ba? Ngayon sila ang tinatawag mo at maya. So, somehow, nagkakaiba-iba ang mga opportunities na nakalaan for this, uh, what we're experiencing right now. And talk about rider, nako, bukas, rider ng ating segmento. Kakaibang segmento na kung saan kasama ang batang-batang rider na si John Ramos. At siya naman ay magbabahagi ng kanyang mga nakalap na informasyon sa iba't ibang 
ang uh, LGUs sa iba, iba't ibang lugar ng ating uh, uh, kalakang Maynila or hopefully hanggang Luzon, Visayas, Mindanao ay makapunta siya through his bike. Motorbike lang yan. Ha? At ito ay uh, gusto natin maintindihan sino-sino yung nakausap niya at ano-ano ang ma i contribute Then, sa Tagalog, maiaambag na talino, skills, talents, abilities sa ating mga kababayan. Because we have to gain what? Knowledge, skills, abilities nang tayo ay mag-improve. We have to stop or we have to not stop or do this without ceasing ka nga na matuto. Every day is a learning process, di po ba? Every day we learn something new every day, sabi nga. So, importante na ipahatid ni John, ng ating driver John Ramos, sa ating mga tagipakinig. Ano-ano ang mga magugulat kayo, ano-ano ang mga possible, possible uh, mga information that will un- unlock our doors. Ika nga, ano, opportunities that uh, enlarge our vision and not settle for mediocrity. Yan ang goal natin sa segmento natin na broom-broom sa pagsulong. Yan po ay napisa natin nung nakaraang Martes at bukas ang aming second episode. Excited ako kung sino naman ang makakasama mo Rider John. Ulitin pa natin. Yan po ang segmento broom-broom mm-hmm. sa pagsulong. Again, Siyempre, gusto natin sumulong tayo with a sore high. Sabi nga ng Isaiah 40 verse 31, ano? Sore high like Queenson Eagle. If we put our trust in the Lord, we will renew our strength. And when we walk, we will not grow weary. And when we run, we will not faint. Ang po kong nag-interchange siya, pero ganun ang <laughs> ganyan. Ang gustong patunguhan. Again, napakasarap na tayo ay, ano, uh, aware or vigilant sa salita ng Panginoon. Kasi nga, ito pong ating lunes, yan ay dinidevote natin para makapag-umpisa tayo ng tama na daan. And then the next days to come, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Saturday Sunday, the entire week, we will be what? Guided. Dahil nga po sabi nga, oh, napakagulo ng mundo. Hindi nga namin alam. Susunod namin step. Nalugi kami. Hindi namin mapapatipad ng susunod namin project. Nagsara din kumpanya. At papakano na yung isang katutak na empleyado na nakadepensa sa amin. Lalo na lalo na po dito sa aviation industry. So, so happy ako. Personally, I saw it na own eyes sa ating paliparan sa NAIA na marami-rami na ang talagang bumabiyahe dahil nga nag-open na. Yung receiving country like America, e eh open na. Kaya ang dalangin namin, sabi naman nila, kayo naman po dyan sa ating bansa, eh luwag-luwagan nyo na rin. Papasukin nyo na at sila, uh, yun ang aking paulit-ulit na rin sa mga restaurants na ating kinainan. <laughs> at tumita kanina, Cora Miller at ni Susan Marlene agad-agad at ni Mr. Virgil of Sina. Aba, lahat ng halos ng aking mga kapanayang ay sabi na huwag naman po yung 10 days to 14 days kasi walang pupunta Christmas ngayon no? gusto gusto nilang umuwi gusto gusto nilang makabalik at makapagbalik bayan sa ating bansa e pa paano naman naman daw kung ang restrictions ay hanggang ano quarantine ng 10 days or 14 days e kung maaaring iksian na nang sa gayon walang masyadong masayang na oras kasi alam niyo po yung mga kababayan natin nandito sa Amerika busy rin po sila nagpa-file din sila ng mga leave or vacation kahit kasi may pandemya work from home din sila so ang sinasabi nila maka-request man lang ng siguro ma-reduce to 3 to 5 days or 5 days to 3 days hanggang pwede mo ng 2 days kasi fully vaccinated naman po na sila hindi naman sila babiyay at di sila i-allow din ng airline pasakayan kung sila ay ano, kulang-kulang uh, jobs or kulang-kulang ang vaccine. Eh, pero fully vaccinated sila. So pagdating naman sa ating dyan sa ating paliparan sa, dyan sa Manila, kung bakit daw kailangan pa silang i-quarantine. So yun po yung ating healing sa IATF or sa DOH or sa ating mismo Pangulong Rodrigo Duterte nang sa ganyan magkaroon po tayo ng revenue. Malaking income po din ang papasok kung yan ay paluluwagan natin. Kasi napakarami ng gustong 
ano, umuwi po dyan dahil Christmas. Ano naman ng Christmas, masayang-masaya siya sa ating bansa, di po ba? Dito hindi masyado, parang isang araw lang na nalilipas. Ang masaya po dito ay, ano, Thanksgiving. Ako, ang gandang pakinggan, di ba? Thanksgiving Day. Yun ang mas hilarious, mas sinagabra, mas ano, bongga ang pag-celebrate yan. Iya, ating ihahatid sa inyo yan kung paano sila mag-celebrate ng Thanksgiving. At napakasarap pakinggan, di po ba? Why? Thanksgiving. Thanksgiving, nagpapasalamat ka sa lahat ng pinagalaob sa'yo ng ating Panginoon. Ano-ano yan? O, siguro, da- medyo mag-, mag ano lang ako ng tatlo o apat o gawin na natin lima anong-ano ang mga pinagkaloob sa atin ng Panginoon Aba He created us in His likeness in His image o paano ang di ang gwapo ng Panginoon yung taas ilong natin eh yung nalang lips natin yung nalang mata yung nalang tayong pag-iisip can you believe that? Ganon ang pag-create niya sa atin. He created us in His likeness, in His image. Kaya He's so, so, so mindful of us. He's so, He considers us very valuable. Kaya yung kanina nag-iisip, paano yan? Parang hindi ko na kaya to, wala akong kwenta. Hindi naman ako masyadong naman may nilo. No, you're ano, wrong, deadly wrong. Kasi He is mindful of you. He what created you his likeness eh so in the if the lilies in the field and the birds in the air we, they need a toil nor spin pero they are what being taken care of by our lord at mindful shall be sa kanyang kinuit na yan eh how much more kayo ikaw at ako nakamukha niya oh, di ba yung sabing ay kahit pang ilong ay nanumata still Kinuit ka niya dahil valuable. He so, so loved you. Kaya ang effort siya. Ang karoon siya ng ano, commitment na ikaw ay is passion, mood, shape in his likeness. So with that, ang sarap pong pakinggan na dapat tayo lagi ng papasalamat. Mas gusto ko yung thanksgiving. We need to give thanks every single day, every in all we should give thanks. In everything, sabi nga sa passage nga sa Bible, we should give thanks. Sabi nga, o, oh, ikaw naman eh, kung umuulan, may pandemya pa, salamat ka pa. Yes, because this will all come to pass. Nadaan nyo ito. Maybe a year, o, na, baka next month, wala na. Parang bagyo, di ba, dumadaan lang. Di naman si stay. So, ganun din ang pandemya. I believe, and I really believe, and I trust that this will all come to pass. Dadaan lang hindi magtatagal. So we need to be thankful in everything. In everything, we give thanks by prayer and supplication. Want to pray, sabi nga ni Dave kanina, kasama dyan ang pagdarasay because that's how you do that. Now, all the things are close up. An awesome episode today, Monday, and I hope to see kung dyan ba dahos tomorrow, Tuesday, their time, dito, uh, American time. But thank you, Engineer Fred, I'm um, sorry, Engineer Jerry, Greta, si Mike, I'm sorry, si Tina, Joanna, si Hias at yun din si Jen Burgos ang ating Sir Alex Salda. Siyempre ang ating Chairman D. Edgar Kabangon as I always say, keep God first. First, first, first in every area of our lives so he will direct our path. God bless everyone! Si Miss Loli Acosta Sulo na Bayan sa DWIZ 882